Welcome back everyone, we are going to see how to install Oracle and replace Linux 7 step by step. Okay, by default I am going to choose the install Oracle Linux 7.2. Already we have seen this in CentOS 7 and the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Under the troubleshooting there will be install Oracle Linux 7.2 in basic graphic mode or rescue, we can rescue the system or run a memory test or boot to the installed local disk. Okay. By I'm choosing the install Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.2, we are going to perform an installation. In this step, you want to press the enter or it will be uh, move forward automatically after the certain seconds. Okay. The files are getting loaded right now. These files are loading from the media for the installation. Welcome to Oracle Linux. Okay. Some of the stages are there, it's loading. Once the loads this file loading completes, we will get the Anaconda installer. The Anaconda is installer is the uh, Linux operating system default installer by, by long long time for all the enterprise Linuxes or uh, what are the operating system coming to the Linux flavors is Anaconda installers. Okay, in the first step, we are going to choose the language in the system level language. I'm going to choose the English by default it will be English I'm going to choose the English okay click next uh, continue and the next one I'm going to choose the time zone and under the date and time the date and time which my location is uh, Asia Dubai currently I am in Dubai so I'm doing the region as Asia and the city is Dubai the default, default uh, keyboard layout will be US English. If you want to choose your language, prefer language, you can choose it. The installation shows, uh, shows under the security policy, I am not going to use it. Okay. The package which we are going to install is minimal one. For the demonstration purpose and the in production environment, the minimal installation will be good. Okay. It depends on the requirement. And the KDAM is uh, used for uh, troubleshooting the uh, boot issues and we are going to configure the uh, interface and the host name is oel 7linuxgeekvideoscom and click configure always you choose the under the general choose to automatically connect to this network when available ok and click done from here also done we uh, just click begin installation and choose the uh, before uh, click the begin installation choose the partition where you want to install it's 20 GB hard disk and I will configure the partitions uh, done click the done and choose the boot partition the boot partition already I explained in the last two uh, tutorials is 500 MB and it want to be standard partition the device type want to be standard and the uh, you can see the XFS is the default file system and the uh, home I am going to define the home a uh, 1 GB add mount point click the plus again let me define the swap the swap is just 5 to LMB of the memory but I have a 1 GB of memory it want to be the double size of the memory always And the mount point for root is 10 GB in size at mount point. These are the default mount points which I am defining. Okay, all these root, home, and swap will be under the LVM, and the only the boot will be standard. Let me apply the changes, accept changes, and click the begin installation so that the operating system will start the installation by copying the files and creating the layouts, everything. Okay. Let me define the root password now. I am going to use Red Hat, but Red Hat is very weak password, uh, uh, depends on the dictionary. So never use it in the production. Once we give the Red Hat the weak password, we want to click the done done two times. 
I'm going to create one of the administrator privilege user. This is admin and require a password to use the account. Make it as user administrator and using the same password as that. We can see there is the process showing the creating XFS file system. The partition already created and the file system now creating. Creating XFS on Dave Mapper OEL or root. Once the file system created, the partition created, then the file system created. After then, by following the files will be automatically called, copied from the media to the installation location and it will be installed. The installation will take a little bit time. The package is copied. Out of 320 package, now we are uh, more uh, around 127 package. Just I am fast, for, fast forwarding because it, it will take too much time to uh, install. It's almost done. Now the performing is performing the post installation setup as after the installation it will configure the some of the scripts and the installing the bootloader and the init parameters and it will create the user uh, the user which we defined in the sysadmin will be created now and it will configure the network everything will be under a process in this task after post installation creating user init ram refers building init ram refers for the kernel bootloader the bootloader is the boot menu grub menu which we can see at the system comes up running post installation script and it's almost done i'm going to click the reboot oracle linux is now successfully installed and ready to use Click the reboot to reboot the system. It's freshly installed and going to be rebooted now. The reboot task will unmount the ISO or a CD drive automatically. This is the grub menu, the bootloader installed one. Let me choose a presenter. The operating system is coming up. It's almost up. It's up. OEL7 login screen has been received. So I'm going to issue the root. And my password is always red hat for the demonstration purpose. Now let me issue some of the commands. Uh, let me put uptime and df minus h. Uptime is one minute. The server has been rebuilded, uh, builded, and up for one minute. And df minus showing the defined layouts of the partitions. Let us see how to install the operating system using the kickstart installation in the next tutorial. Thanks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the right corner. There is a GNU logo, the GOAT, GOAT, the GOAT logo. Thank you, thank you for watching.